Hello everyone. I am B. Ganga Devi, Assistant Professor of Commerce CA, School of Commerce in Kaiser College of Arts and Science for Women, Tirchangur. In this video, we are going to see about Financial Market and Institution for MCOM students, Unit 1, Nature and Role of Financial System. Overview of Indian Financial System the Indian financial system plays a very important role in the Indian economy and it shows economic growth of our economy. It helps in the flow of funds to the people and the people use this money economically for their betterment. Financial system. It is a set of institutions such as bank, insurance companies and stock exchanges that permit the exchange of funds. It exists on firm, regional and global level. It can be organized using market principles, central planning of a hybrid of both. It also includes set of rules and practices that borrowers and lenders use to decide which projects get financed, who finances projects and terms of financial deals. Financial sector reforms. So it is a backbone of every economy and it plays a crucial role in the mobilization and allocation of resources. So this sector includes banks, investment funds, insurance companies and real estates. So the main objectives of financial sector reform in India was to create an efficient, productive and profitable financial services industry. Approaches of financial service reforms Banking sector reforms, debt market reforms, forex market reforms, reforms in other segments also. Next we are going to see about State Bank of India, SBI. So it is a central bank of India established in 1st April 1935 under the Reserve Bank of India Act. Its headquarters is in Mumbai. It has an regional offices most of them in state capitals. It was set up on the recommendation of the Hilton Young Commission. Initially, it was privately owned. The functions of RBI, issue of currency, development role, banker to government, banker to bank, role of RBI in inflation control, formulate monetary policy, manager of foreign reserve, Clearing house functions, regulations of banking system. Next, we are going to see about SEBI. SEBI means Securities and Exchange Board of India. It was established on 12th April 1988. This regulatory authority acts as a watching top, watchdog for all the capital market participants and its main purpose is to provide such an environment for the financial market enthusiasts that facilitate the efficient and smooth working of the securities market. Some functions of SEBI. The main primary three functions are productive function, regulatory function, development function. In productive function means these functions are performed by SEBI to protect the interest of investors and other financial participants. They are include checking price rigging, prevent instar trading, etc. In regulatory function means this basically perform to keep a check on the functioning of business in the financial markets. These functions include regulation of takeover of companies, uh, conducting uh, inquiries and audit of exchanges, levering of fees, registration of brokers, subbrokers, etc. The third function, development function. This performs certain development function also that include, but they are not they are not limited to. They are imparting training to intermediaries, promotion of fair trading and reduction of malpractices carry out a research work, encouraging self-regulating organizations, buy, sell mutual funds directly from AMC through a broker, etc. 
next objectives of sebi the objectives of stock exchange board of india are protection to the investors prevention of malpractices fair and proper functionings thank you